Okay, here's uh, another example problem of evaluating a definite integral. Um, what we've got here, um, this is my function little f of x. What we're going to need is the antiderivative, capital F of x. And to take this antiderivative of a cube root, I'm going to have to rewrite that with an exponent. So this is going to be the integral from 1 to 27. Remember, a cube root is the same thing as the one-third power. So when I take an antiderivative of a power, we have to increase that power by 1. When I take the derivative, I go down by 1. When I take the antiderivative, I have to go up by 1. And then I have to divide by the new exponent. So I'm going to add 1, but I have to divide by that then as well. Remember what would happen um, if I was going to take the derivative of this thing, this power would come down in front, and then that would cancel what's in the bottom, and then I'd subtract 1 and just get that 1 third back. Of course, 1, one is the same thing as 3 thirds. Um, oh, I forgot this then. That has to be evaluated as x goes from 1 to 27. So 1 is the same thing as 3 thirds. Right? So 1 third plus 1 is 1 third plus 3 thirds, so that would be 4 thirds. And of course, dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. And Again, we can sort of check this. What would happen if I took the derivative of this? I'd bring the 4 thirds down. 4 thirds times 3 fourths would cancel. And then I'd subtract 1 from this exponent. 4 thirds minus 1 would be 4 thirds minus 3 thirds, which would be back to the 1 third that we've got there. So this 3 fourths, I'm going to plug in the 27 and then plug in the 1 and subtract. Both terms are going to have a 3 fourths. So I can essentially factor out that 3 fourths. I don't have to include it on both parts. I can just do it like this. So then I'm going to get 27 to the 4 thirds minus 1 to the 4 thirds. Remember, um, when I've got this kind of, a, of, of an exponent, the numerator is the power I'm going to take, and the denominator is the root I'm going to take. So what I'm going to get here, this 3 is the cube root, and then I get the fourth power. So I'm going to have the cube root of 27 to the fourth power, and then the cube root of 1 to the fourth power. The 3 fourths is still there. So the cube root of 27 is 3, so I get 3 to the 4th. The cube root of 1 is 1, I get 1 to the 4th. So I get 3 fourths. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. 1 to the 4th is just 1. 81 minus 1 is 80. 4 goes into itself once. 4 goes into 80 20 times. And so I would just get 60 for the answer.